Last, last. Now everybody go to a breakfast. Shayo. That. Shayo. Choco bow for the presalto. Nothing to discuss. seven hours let me give y'all a room tour so this is the bathroom okay okay safe in the closet the only thing i don't like about it though they don't have like the little lock up there And I requested a one bed. Like initially, they tried to give me two beds, but I was like, no, just give me one. And then I'm all the way like on the highest floor, so I had a lot of walking to do. I'm not expecting to have no no balcony though. Yeah. All right. I come out here and read it. Alright y'all, so I finally got dressed the shoes. The crazy thing about it is, I bought this bathing suit probably about a good, maybe four years ago um, when I was going to Cancun. And it was like so little. And now I can fit it, so I must have lost some, um, some weight or something. But you know what? Recently I went on a fast, um, like a spiritual fast, and you know, certain hours I wasn't eating. So I probably lost a couple of pounds then. But I'm happy though, like four years later and I can wear it. So I'm getting ready to go down to the pool. Well, first I'm gonna see if I can boot me a scourging and then go to the pool and see what's going on. It's quiet over here at this pool. I know they got like several pools. I mean, do I supposed to go that way or not? Oh. I don't know. I see the rubber around. Oh, I bought it and put it. Thank you. It's recording. back in the room i got dressed and now i'm gonna try to go find me some dinner uh hopefully i can get into one of these restaurants instead of the buffet because i don't too much like a buffet so hopefully um so yeah here's my little outfit i got from sheen and i tied it twice because the strings is like extra extra long so I'm getting ready to go eat dinner and then um i think they have like a live show or something um in a theater area like at night as well but i did um show y'all this they have like this little um bar for you right here so if you want to get drunk in the room you can and it's included as well you don't have to pay for that 
So I thought that was, you know, cool. You know, if I would definitely would have had somebody with me, you know, I probably would have did it. But I don't too much drink um, hard liquor straight like that. I don't know. I'm getting old and it's like when I drink, I start to get sick to my stomach if I'm starting to drink too much. So I just do the minimum. So I'll pick y'all up once I get to the restaurant. Okay, now this is more like it. Tell you like last night, hey man, I slept with the light on. 
I had like that table at the door. Like I kept waking up all through the night because I'm like, ain't nobody gonna get me. So, you know, hopefully tonight be better. But I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I miss my kids at first, you know, when I was in the airport and I was on my way here. It really, really felt weird, you know, um, not traveling with my kids. And, you know, I called them. I've been calling them a couple of times since I've been gone. And they ain't even worried about me. Like, they barely even talk to me. So, I'm like, okay, so that should make me feel even more better. Because um, this whole month, like, you know, with me planning out this trip and stuff, like, I was dealing with some serious, serious um, mommy guilt. You know, the simple fact that, you know, I'm going on a trip and I'm not taking my kids nowhere. But, you know... A lot of people have to really make me think, you know, you've been taking them kids, you know, somewhere and doing things with them almost constantly for the last couple of months. So last year they went to, I took them to Disney World for spring break. And then like in July, I ended up taking them to Great Wolf Lodge in Texas. And then for Christmas, I took them to Disney World. And then this past April, we started, I took them to Kalahari. So, you know, I'm looking at our bucket list because, you know, I have a travel bucket list and then I have one made for the kids. And, you know, it dawned on me, like, the kids' bucket list, like, it's like six things checked off, but on mine, it's one thing. So, I'm like, you know, it's important for me to get out there, you know, and do some things for, for myself because I cannot keep, you know, pouring into others, you know, when my cup is broken or empty. And it's important, you know, as a mom to take care of yourself because, you know, if you're not okay, you know, your kids are not okay. And, you know, it may not even seem like it, but I've been going through, you know, a lot, you know, mentally, emotionally, and other areas of my life for the last couple of months, you know, but I have to still push through, you know, for my, you know, for my kids. So, you know, it is what it is, you know, and I feel like this is a good thing for me. Um... You know, just to reset and, you know, just get my mind together and, you know, spend time with God and, you know, before I go back home to my kids. And, you know, for a long time, you know, I have not been traveling and doing the things that I wanted to do because I didn't have, like, the friends or somebody to want to go with me. You know, I've been trying to plan a trip, you know, for months, but when it's time to really, you know, get down to the nitty-gritty, then folks start, you know, fading away so you know I have to really tell myself what is one thing that's setting you back from doing what you want to do and traveling because I love to travel and it was people so I'm no longer you know gonna let you know people hold me back from traveling like if I have to go by myself then that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that and to somebody come along you know to travel with me and that's why I didn't even tell nobody that I was I told select the people that I was going out the country because People will project their fears on you. And I'm the type where I easily allow people opinions in their mood damper my mood. So, you know, I'm slowly learning that, you know, a lot of stuff, my plans, my visions, my goals, and things that I want to do, I'm very protective of, of that and who I tell because... I know how I am, and you know, I've been praying about that as well, you know, for strength and just confidence in myself and not allow other people to, you know, stop me from what I wanted to do. So I feel like that's one thing that the enemy know about me, you know, that, you know, somebody move can really just throw me out. So, you know, and I have to tell people, you know, the same thing that goes on in these countries is going on in the United States. So. Just how y'all think, you know, that particular thing would happen to me here, it can happen over there. To me, it's worse, you know, over there. And everybody's here has been, you know, super nice. The only thing about it is <laughs> everybody just keep coming up to me just talking in Spanish. Like, I understand. I'm looking at them like, and they looking at me, and I'm like, so, you know, that's the only thing. The driver that, um brought me here he was so fun he was like you know um it's two places that you can go to you know that I recommend you going to I think one of them was like a, is a like a dislike maybe like a club or something he was like oh you can go to Xfinity or Coco Bongo or something like that and I have watched it on um YouTube so you know I'm asking him like which one is better 
he was like, oh, you can um, go to Xfinity because that's the one where, you know, you can get marijuana. So I'm looking at him like, mm -mm. he was like, you know, if you ever want that, I can get that for you. Sir, no. And you shouldn't even be promoting that on a job. So, but yeah, so I'm going to get up and I'm going to get dressed. And I think I'm just going to go to the spa first. And then I will try to make it to breakfast. But yeah, so I will pick y'all up once I get there. All right, y'all. I'm headed to the spa. So I got this little outfit from Sheen, too. But for some reason, I cannot figure out this skirt. Um, but I did the best I can. So, all right, I'm about to head to the spa. Like for the last two weeks, I've been checking the weather. And they said it was gonna like rain, but we done all cleared out. I think it's supposed to like rain really bad when I, um, the day that I leave. But I am okay with that. Then I had to go all the way to the beach to actually get my damn money back. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, they had you the I was like, where my girl at, man? Yeah, and then I had to stop and get something to eat because I was hungry. <laughs> Here with Kiara, sharing this beautiful moment, getting on some activities and excursions so she can have a Dominican experience, a cultural experience on the buggy and twilight tour. But she's gonna be able to go swimming in the cave, enjoy, and see the real island. You already know. Alrighty.
Bienvenidos familia, bienvenidos sean todos. Cuidado al bajar, cuidado al bajar familias. Por it stay in line always. Do not drive the wheel zigzag. Do not bump. Do not pass on the buggies. Do not create a space between the buggies to go faster. These are for your safety. We have kids. It is dusty and muddy. We suggest you to use bandanas to protect your face. We have it five dollars. We have it seven dollars. This type one. The ski mask that covers on your head, they are $10. Big goggles, more protection to your eyes, very important, they are $20. And we have plastic case to protect your phone, so not lose it at 10. Professional photographers, they will be taking beautiful pictures wherever you go. You make the reservation now, they take care of you, and they give you more pictures for the same price. We're gonna be calling you, remember, by the green team. We start driving the buggies here for one hour so you can enjoy. After that, we are going to a big park. You're gonna have different activities. You're gonna try our coffee, chocolate, mamawana, and we are going to an amazing cave. You're gonna be swimming some, all right? Let's go with her inside to complete the process. excursion for about I think like four and a half hours so I'm starving I'm dusty I'm dirty I'm muddy so let me get in the shower and then I'll pick y'all back up later all righty child so I am dressed and ready for dinner my little outfit from Sheen the shoes too I don't know how long it's gonna last I'm gonna pack my slides just in case because I know how I am I get the walking for about two minutes 
and it be a wrap. No, I'm off. I just can't hang no more when it comes to heels and stuff. But I mainly wear like platform and wedge type of shoes, and they comfortable. They just heavy. That's the thing about it. They like super, super heavy. So I don't know. This is my first time wearing them, so I'm gonna try to break them in a little bit. So let me run and get something to eat. And I may or may not pick y'all up when I go there. I don't know. Well, we'll figure this out later. All right, y'all. So day three. It's been a lot going on today, which is why I haven't picked y'all up. Baby, I don't know why, but it's always seemed like the last day of my trip, I'll be having a blast. Like today <laughs> was probably like one of the best days I didn't had like since this whole trip. So yesterday, you know, I went on the excursions and then I ended up coming back to the room, dead to the bed. Got up this morning. I actually got up like a little bit late. I was so tired. Um, so I ended up getting up, going to breakfast for a little bit, had like two mimosas when it scheduled my transportation to get home tomorrow because I leave tomorrow and then I came back to the room and I literally probably like slept to about two o'clock so I got up um and then I went to the pool and today like the pool was like <laughs> lit so I was out there for most of the day I went to the beach and then I ate like some jerk chicken and then I went back to like um the pool or whatnot the pool where like the DJ and most of the stuff that go on and it was lit today so I'm just not getting back to the room because like I low key was held hostage by this man um <laughs> that I met from Houston like he didn't held me hostage for about three hours talking like we didn't talk about so much stuff from just traveling from God from relationships just everything you know and he's way older even though you know I prefer older me i don't know like if he's my type but you know just picking his brain and just getting his perspective on a lot of stuff was very very interesting and he was very like spiritual like on the same level as me so i don't know we, we shall see if the kids got a step dead or not but anyways i'm getting ready to go to this party so tonight they're having um an all-white party the crazy thing about it is, as long as I've been watching this website for this resort, I should have been prepared. Um, they have like parties on Wednesdays, it's like a theme. So on Wednesdays, it's either all white or neon, and then they alternate. So this week is white, and then next week is neon. See me thinking, I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna bring something bright, maybe it's neon. Well, I thought wrong, today is all white. So I'm gonna be in there with my green, and hopefully, I don't be the only one without white, so I guess I'll pick y'all up once I get there. Well, first I'm getting ready to go eat um, dinner. I'll probably go to this buffet. I really want to go to this um, to the restaurant, the state restaurant, because since I've been here, I haven't ate at um, none of the restaurants. I've been sticking to the buffet. The um, state restaurant is literally like attached to one of the buffets, and you have to walk through the buffet to get to the state room. And this um, waiter that's been here, like, that's been waiting on me since I've been here. Like, every time I'm walking through, it's like he pulled me, like, come sit down. You need to be here. So, it's like he stopped me before I can even get to the steakhouse. But I'm going to try to, you know, hide from him today and try to see if I can get into the steakhouse. If not, I guess I'll be right back at the buffet. So, I'll pick y'all up once I get to um, the party. We'll see how that goes.
Thursday, Thursday night, probably around like 12, um, 12 in the morning. So let's get into like the whole trip because so many people have so many questions, you know, me going by myself and all of that. So I ended up staying at um, Ryu Republica, I guess that's how you say it. So I stayed there for three nights. Now, initially I was supposed to stay four nights um, from Sunday to Thursday, but I ended up missing my flight on Sunday. That's a whole different story. So I ended up checking in the next day. So the resort ended up working with me and they allowed me to check in the next day. And it was actually cheaper. So I ended up saving probably like $170. But the only thing with that is um, the resort picks you up from the airport. You have to schedule it like days um, before your trip. So the only thing with that would be checking in later. They wasn't able to um, pick me up from the airport. So I ended up having to schedule like um, private transportation. So I ended up um, scheduling the transportation through Diamond. So I highly, highly recommend them. The way I found them was watching somebody else's vlog. Um, so I ended up booking that through Viator. And that was started out of state was super super nice like once i got to the airport it was this guy that met me and he waited with me the whole time to the van came the only thing i didn't like about you know with the driver you know he was basically trying to offer me like hey if you want marijuana i got the hook up but other than that like it was fine so um the resort was super super nice um once i got there i checked in everything was fine i was like on the top floor it's hard to really find stuff and navigate around the resort because it's so big so many twists and turns it's it's a lot it's a lot walking um the resort is mainly like um a party resort so it's a mixture crowd it's stuff always going on like they have different parties at different pools um that day that i got in um they had a bus that was going to the main Ryu um resort and they was having a party so i missed that um and then they have this pool that's closer to the beach like that's the main pool where everything you know happens because they have a dj and activities and stuff like that okay so they do have two different buffets and then they have i think i want to say they got like three or four different restaurants i don't know because i didn't make it to the restaurants um when I was trying to head to the restaurant, this particular waiter at the buffet would like stop me because he wanted me to, you know, be there with him. So I ate at the buffet the whole time I was there, which was fine. I'm not a foodie, like I'm a picky eater. So the food was not that great to me. The best thing that I ate probably was um, the steak, the steak and, and french fries. I stuck with stuff that I know because again, I'm a picky eater and I don't like all that type of stuff. So let's talk about um, the excursions that I went on. So the excursions I went on was the ATV um, buggy adventure. So you can either choose to ride um, ATV or a buggy. So I did a buggy um, because I don't trust those ATV. So you basically, like they come pick you up from the resort. And I actually booked that when I got to the resort. So it's actually cheaper to book your excursions when you go to the resort because when I looked online it was like over a hundred dollars but when I booked it at the resort um it was like ninety dollars so like I think around like between nine and one p.m they have like a whole di um bunch of people that's at the resort in a specific area that's selling that type of stuff like transportation excursions all of that so I ended up doing that now I did not know about them when I first got there so I ended up booking it through somebody else, but when I found out that they had like specific people at the resort, I ended up going back to get my money. So, um, yeah, so they come and pick you up, um, and you're on um, the transportation like from with different people from different resorts. So I was able to meet, you know, other people from different states and other resorts, and you know they was you know telling me about their resorts and vice versa. So you get there. Um, and then you get on the, the rides or whatnot, and you're riding for a good hour. So you drive to the park. So the park, once you get there, you first go to like this little Indian show, and then you go down and then you swim in like a cave with a waterfall for a few minutes. 
then you come out of there and then you go to um like this chocolate tasting or whatnot and then after that then you drive the atv or the buggy back to the main part so that was probably about maybe like four and a half five hours and that was a good price for 90 dollars. so i highly recommend you um book your excursions once you get to the resort because it's way cheaper um as well so um how i booked the trip i booked it directly through rio i went on their website and booked everything and i actually signed up to be a rio class member so i actually got a cheaper rate so when you do want to book with a rio resort i highly recommend you booking it on their site and um sign up for an account you know to be a member because you do get a cheaper rate um the total cost of my trip including the flight i spent probably around when i calculated the other day it was like 13 something so like close to 1400 um which was way cheaper because i really wanted to go to jamaica but then when the time came to book i'm like mm -mm. like let me stick with um Punta Cana because it's way cheaper and then the cool thing about it is this trip with Punta Cana is actually on my vision board now I kid you not when I placed it on my vision board in January I had no idea that I was actually um gonna go and I didn't actually know that I was actually gonna go by myself so when I tell you like when Laura say um write the vision make it plain you better do it um so also when you go to these resorts especially Punta Cana um it's important to tip these workers because they will treat you like royalty like you don't even have to get them a lot like when I went before I went I went to the ATM and not to the ATM to the bank and I took out fifty dollars in ones and that was my budget like okay that's going to be my money for tipping and all the other stuff you know and you're going to be there for a few days so you don't want to tip them a lot tip them two three four dollars a day and leave it at that and they are very you know grateful for that and they will treat you like royalty it was certain um workers that i really really took because they was just super nice you know to me um and you know just grateful and you know i'm just learning to be more generous you know and give freely you know because when you do that you know it's gonna come back in threefold so and that's another thing you know that i'm starting to see like that god is revealing with me you know on my vision board as well i have the words generosity and so seeds and now it's just coming um more clear to me why you know i was given that vision because over these last couple of months i really have been you know generous tithing someone sees and when i tell you it has been coming back twice more i can tell you some stories about that so on the next thing another thing too is um language barriers them folks was coming up to me talking like i could really understand them a lot of them don't talk english um a lot of them a couple of people i have met where they did but a lot of them no so you better use google trans um translate um what's another thing i want to talk about i guess that's it but my experience as a solo traveler i'm, I'm kind of liking it um at first i was a little nervous i'm not gonna lie like the first day i slept with the lights on in the desk at the door i'm not gonna lie i don't know what they were gonna protect me from but at least i was gonna see who was coming towards me but after then, you know, I was fine. I have met so many amazing people from all over the world. Like, and I did not, that's one thing um, I did not do, you know, going on this trip. I did not tell nobody I was by myself. Like they did ask, so I was like, no, you know, my friends in the room or I'm headed to my friends. I did not tell them that. Um, but other than that, like, I, I can't wait to see, you know, what's gonna be my next trip. Like I'm just at this point of my life where I'm no longer waiting on anybody. I'm not gonna allow people to, you know, project their fears on me because I done got, you know, a couple of phone calls. Like, I can't believe you went by yourself. Like, that is crazy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's crazy to you, but again, like, I'm not gonna allow that to stop me from seeing the world, you know, and traveling, which is something that I love to do. Like, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when, before I went on this trip, I prayed about it. And as long as me and God, you know, like this and good, 
I don't care what nobody else has to say, you know. So, look, I'm, I'm here and I'm together. So, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And then I'll see y'all in the next vlog.